Hello, my name is Emma Bond and I'm a former small research grant holder for the British Academy, the UK's voice for the humanities and social sciences. The project that I was involved with for the British Academy was looking at the history of the sugar refining industry on the west coast of Scotland. We had a particular interest in the town of Greenock, which was a major hub for sugar refining, particularly in the 19th century. Now, a lot of the history of sugars in Greenock has gone largely forgotten in more recent years. So what we were interested in doing was thinking of new and innovative ways to try and recoup the memories of that industrial past. And one of the ways that we did that was through recreating traditional sugary recipes um, and then tasting them with local residents in order to see what kind of memories those foods um, and drinks brought up for them. So what I'm going to show you how to do today is to make one of those recipes and I've chosen the traditional Scottish macaroon. Now the macaroon only needs four ingredients um, and it is gluten-free and vegan and it also has no flour of course um, so it's good in these times when sourcing flour and caster sugar can be a little bit difficult for some people. The four ingredients you'll need um, are icing sugar, desiccated coconut, melted chocolate, I use dark chocolate, and the surprise ingredient which is a potato. The first step is to mash your potato, so boil water, no need to add salt, um, and, and mash it uh, until it has no lumps, no need to add any milk or anything, just the potato. And then you just want to add enough icing sugar to make a kind of firm fondant dough. So the proportions will be around one to four, one to five. So if your potato weighs uh, 100, 120 grams, then you'll probably need to use about half a kilo of icing sugar. Once that's done, um, pop it in the freezer for about an hour until you have a, quite a firm dough that you can mould into shapes um, a bit like this. Now the traditional shape is a rectangular bar, um, but I went for smaller balls, a bit like this, just because they're easier, easier to manage and with the, with the amount of sugar I thought probably a bit healthier as well. So when you've done that, just um, try and dip it into the dark chocolate until it comes it's entirely covered and then you're just going to dip it into the coconut as well. And when that's happened you'll have something that looks like this uh, with of course the delicious potato fondant inside. Um, you can then put them in the fridge just to cool and firm further and then they'll keep for about seven to ten days. And that is how to make a traditional Scottish macaroon.